This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. All right. Now that you've declared and initialized some variables, let's practice changing the values. Yes. So if y'all are missing some of this, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. Uh, let's see what we have thus far. Run. Yep. So my integer, I set that to 15, my double 4.75, and then I said, hello world. So now, in my console.java, check, that's this file, set my integer to now store the value 75. So if we notice, let's see, level 5, level 3, to do number 4, set each variable to a new value. So I'm thinking this is where that will go. So let's say my integer to now store, so is now gonna be equal to 75, right? Because right here we have declared and defined my integer. So the declaration right here, this is initializing uh, its value to be 15. And if you forget any of these terms, again and again, code.org has so many resources. Look, I can go right here. Whoops, wow, I scrolled way by it. Lesson, resources, and here we are. Declaration, initialization. So declare, giving a name and a data type. So the declaration is this, right? When we say int and my integer. Now, the initialization is assigning, giving a starting value using the assignment operator, right? So this is the declaration. This equals 15 is initializing it. Here, we're reassigning it. So, all right. Now, my oops, double, my double is going to be equal 6.37. Cool. And now, my string is going to be equal to welcome to Java. Oh. That shouldn't all be caps. That should look more like this. Let me make sure to put colons. Now, notice strings always need quotes, and you want these to match what they already were. Because if they don't, it's going to think we're trying to make a new variable. It's going to have no idea what we're talking about. All right, let me just see. And I know I haven't completed all this yet. I want to see if it's already broken, because that way I can fix it now and not have to debug additional code. Nope, it looks like that didn't throw an error. So use system out println to print the new values of each variable to the council. Okay, so right here, to do four. Cool. All right, so let me go ahead and say system out, println, and we could reference right here, right? We already have this. They also should have a bit more details. Oh, this is going to be about assignment. Regardless, we have right here showing us how to do this print statement, and I'm going to continue. Notice how they have my integer, my double. So keep in mind, if I just do system out print ln my integer, all this prints is the variable's value. So all this will print is 75. Boom, right here, 75. And notice the distinction between this line, my integer 15, and this one. And if you're not sure where that's coming from, throw some values down, right? Also, if you don't have this, this was from the last portion of the lesson. Look, I just threw some garbage here. Oh yeah, that's definitely where that value is coming from. So we are giving it, we're telling it, hey, use this, I wanna see this string, and append whatever the value is. So the computer sees something in quotes and it spits it out exactly. It says, okay, not gonna to touch it, it's a string, slaps it onto the screen. Now this plus, it says, oh, so I need to smash another value into this. Now it's a plus, but not like, well, it's kind of like addition, but not in that way. It just means we want to join these. So whatever value this is, we also want it to appear on the council. And that's why, boom, that's why this says my int 15, and this just says 75. So I don't want that. I want my integer, end quote, and then I need a plus. Cool. That's looking better. And let's... Let me hammer out these other ones. Same thing. In quotes, my double. Bloop, bloop, plus. And I just want to reiterate, guys, this is not, this is a hard-coded thing, right? This is not what's making the value show. I can say, Fred. It won't air, right? Because the computer is just grabbing this string and smacking it onto the screen. 
It doesn't care about this value. This is just getting put out directly. The thing that it is using when it sees my double here, not in quotes, the computer says, what on earth is that? And it has to go hunt for it. When it's in quotes, the computer doesn't care. It throws it on the screen. Since this is not in quotes, it has to say, okay, this has to be a variable. And the computer goes, oh, 6.7, smack. And it looks like that. All right, one more of these. Let's see what we got. But da Hey, looking good. Cool. I'm working.